In the heart of Saudi Arabia, where scorching desert winds meet the shimmering waters of the Red Sea, a tower is rising, a tower unlike anything the world has ever seen. A structure so tall that it aims to pierce the clouds and then rewrite the limits of human ambition. This is the Jeddah Tower, the world's first attempt to build a skyscraper over one kilometer in height. A project so bold that even the Burj Khalifa begins to look small by comparison. But this isn't just a building. It's a symbol of power, of progress, and of a nation reshaping its future. Yet behind the gleaming renders and futuristic vision lies a story few truly understand. A story of massive ambition, sudden halts, political drama, and a comeback that has shocked the world. Why did construction suddenly stop? What forces brought it back to life? And can humanity really stand one kilometer closer to the sky? Stay until the end, because only then will you discover why Jeddah Tower could change the future of architecture forever or become the most expensive unfinished dream in modern history. And before we dive in, make sure to subscribe because this channel decodes the world's boldest mega projects. And trust me, you don't want to miss what happens next. Background and concept. To understand the Jeddah Tower, we must go back to a moment when Saudi Arabia was preparing for a transformation unlike anything in its history. The year was 2008, oil prices were soaring, global wealth was shifting, and Saudi Arabia's leadership envisioned a future beyond petroleum. A future powered by infrastructure, tourism, and global investment. Among the kingdom's boldest thinkers was Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, one of the richest men in the Middle East and a man known for audacious ideas. His dream, not simply another skyscraper, but a monument to ambition, the tallest structure ever attempted by mankind. A tower so monumental that it would announce Saudi Arabia's arrival on the world stage. At first they called it the Kingdom Tower, later the world would know it as Jeddah Tower. But the tower was only the beginning, it would stand as the centerpiece of the Jeddah Economic City Project, a vast $20 billion master plan metropolis featuring financial districts, luxury residences, tourist hubs, medical centers, waterfront promenades, and tech-driven infrastructure. A new global gateway to the kingdom. This wasn't just architecture, it was a statement. A message to the world that Saudi Arabia would not merely adapt to the future, it would build it. The goal was clear diversify the economy, attract international investors, inspire global tourism, and establish Jeddah as a rival to cities like Dubai, Singapore, and Shanghai. Even today, the vision remains powerful. The first kilometer high skyscraper rising not in New York, not in Tokyo, not in Dubai, but on the shores of the Red Sea. It is a dream shaped by pride, ambition, competition, and a determination to challenge gravity itself. Architecture and design. To build the tallest tower on Earth, you need more than steel, concrete, and ambition. You need to redesign the very rules of architecture. Enter Adrian Smith, the legendary architect behind the Burj Khalifa. When Saudi Arabia set out to build a tower taller than anything before it, they turned to the one man who had already pushed humanity higher. But the Jeddah Tower would not simply be a taller Burj Khalifa. It would be an entirely new breed of skyscraper. Rising over 1,000 meters, with more than 167 floors, the tower's sleek, tapering form takes inspiration from desert growth, a structure that rises like a desert plant reaching for the sun. Its three-winged, Y-shaped footprint is designed to cut through extreme Red Sea winds, channeling air around the structure while maintaining stability. The tower's exterior is engineered for survival in harsh climate conditions. Heat-resistant concrete, advanced thermal glass, and self-shading geometry to reduce solar heat gain, essential in a region where summer temperatures can exceed 50 degrees C. Inside, the tower will house luxury apartments, a five-star hotel, world-class offices, and the highest observation deck ever planned, suspended more than 600 meters above the Earth, offering views across the Red Sea and deep into the Saudi horizon. More than 59 elevators, including double-deck systems, are planned to move visitors with speed and efficiency, while high-speed lifts will shoot straight up to the observation deck. And at the top, a slender, needle-like pinnacle pierces the sky. This isn't just height for the sake of height. It's a message. Our world is changing and we are reaching for more. If the Burj Khalifa redefined what a skyscraper could be, the Jeddah Tower seeks to redefine what is humanly possible. Construction and engineering. Building a tower that rises more than one kilometer into the sky isn't construction. It's a war against physics, against gravity, against wind, against time itself. 
The Jeddah Tower began rising from the desert in 2013, and from the very first day, engineers faced problems that no building crew had ever solved at this scale. To support a structure of unprecedented height, the foundation had to be just as extraordinary. Workers drilled hundreds of concrete piles, some extending more than 110 meters deep into the ground, anchoring the tower into bedrock capable of holding millions of tons of weight. But depth was only the beginning. Extreme desert temperatures, high salinity from the Red Sea, and powerful coastal winds demanded innovations beyond anything used before. Engineers developed a heat-resistant, corrosion-resistant concrete mixture capable of surviving decades of exposure in one of the harshest climates on Earth. Specialized, self-climbing formwork systems and tower cranes among the highest ever installed were deployed, cranes engineered to operate in brutal heat and wind conditions. Inside the core of the building, reinforced walls thicker than many highway tunnels rise vertically, forming the spine of the tower. Giant outrigger walls and mega columns help distribute weight and stabilize the structure as it climbs into the clouds. Speed was never the priority. Precision was. Then came the setbacks. In 2018, construction halted suddenly. Political shifts, leadership arrests during the Saudi anti-corruption crackdown, and investor tensions froze the project at roughly one-third of its planned height, a haunting concrete stem pointing toward a future paused in mid-air. For years, the site stood silent, guarded, and untouched. But in 2023-2024, new tenders were issued. Dozens of global construction giants were invited to compete. The message was clear. The tower was not dead. It was waiting. Today, new contractors are being lined up, advanced cranes prepared, and materials retested. The engineering challenge remains monumental, but so does the ambition behind it. If the Jeddah Tower reaches completion, it will not only break every height record humanity has ever set, it will redefine what human engineering can achieve in the face of nature, politics, and time. Cost and financing. A tower unlike anything ever attempted was always going to face an equally unprecedented financial challenge. The Jeddah Tower is not simply an engineering milestone, it is a billion-dollar symbol of national ambition, global investment, and economic transformation. Official estimates place the tower's direct construction cost at approximately $1.2 to $1.5 billion USD. But that number tells only part of the story. The Jeddah Tower is the crown jewel of a much larger vision. Jeddah Economic City, a planned $20 billion mega-district designed to transform the Saudi coastline into a global financial and tourism powerhouse. Funding for such a colossal undertaking was never straightforward. In the early days, investment came through Kingdom Holding Company, led by Prince Al-Walid bin Talal, alongside the Saudi Bin Laden Group, one of the largest construction firms in the Middle East. Private equity, state-aligned capital, and global financing blended together in a strategic economic puzzle. But as the tower began to rise, the financial landscape shifted. The 2017 Saudi anti-corruption purge sent shockwaves through corporate networks. Senior executives linked to the project were detained, bank accounts frozen, and political power realigned. Construction didn't stop because money disappeared. It stopped because the entire financial structure behind it was being reset. Then came new complications, fluctuating oil prices, global economic uncertainty, and a pandemic that slowed the world to a halt. For years, the tower stood still, not abandoned, but frozen in time, waiting for the financial tides to turn. In 2023 and 2024, they did. Saudi Arabia, propelled by its Vision 2030 diversification strategy, reopened bidding to global construction firms. International giants from Europe, Asia, and the Gulf were invited to join the project. New capital streams began forming, backed by sovereign wealth, private investors, and a renewed, state-driven mandate to complete the tower at all costs. The message is unmistakable. This tower will be finished, not because it's profitable, but because it's symbolic. For Saudi Arabia, the Jeddah Tower is not a financial bet. It is a statement to the world that vision, not hesitation, defines the future. And real vision always comes with a price. Controversies, delays, and criticism. No record-breaking vision rises without turbulence, and the story of the Jeddah Tower is woven with controversy, disruption, and doubt. From the beginning, critics questioned whether Saudi Arabia could truly build a kilometer-high skyscraper, not because of engineering limitations, but because of political volatility and financial timing. The first major shock came in 2017 when Saudi Arabia launched an unprecedented anti-corruption purge. Powerful businessmen, including individuals tied to the Jeddah Towers financing and contracting networks, were suddenly arrested. 
Bank accounts were frozen, corporate hierarchies collapsed overnight, and for the tower, construction halted abruptly. Not because the vision died, but because the boardrooms behind it fell silent. Then came global oil price swings, a shift in government priorities, and the world-stopping pandemic. For years, the tower's concrete skeleton stood frozen, a monument to what could be suspended between ambition and uncertainty. Some critics argue that the Jeddah Tower symbolizes extravagance over necessity. Why reach for the sky when economic diversification could be focused elsewhere? Why build the world's tallest building when sustainability experts warn that megastructures consume enormous resources? Others point to labor concerns, especially in the Gulf region where migrant workforce conditions and rights have long been scrutinized. Building history's tallest tower demands thousands of workers, and human cost always matters in megaproject ethics. Environmental voices raise a third alarm. Can a super skyscraper thrive in desert heat, salt-laden air, and rising coastal temperatures? Is this a technological marvel or a future maintenance nightmare? Yet despite every challenge, the skepticism, the pauses, the controversies, something remarkable happened. The tower didn't fade away. Saudi Arabia didn't abandon the dream. Instead, the country doubled down. In 2023 and 2024, the project was retendered to the world's top contractors. It returned not quietly, but with renewed confidence. And a message, greatness is tested, not granted. The Jeddah Tower remains divisive. To some, it's a monument to ego. To others, a beacon of progress. But love it or criticize it, the world is watching. Because projects like this don't just build cities. They challenge what humanity believes is possible. Future vision and timeline. The story of the Jeddah Tower is not only about the past, it is a blueprint for what comes next. Because if this tower rises to its full height, it will not simply break a record. It will reset the definition of an ultra-tall building and mark the beginning of a new era in urban design. Saudi Arabia is not building in isolation. The Jeddah Tower sits at the center of a historic transformation, a reshaping of a nation under Vision 2030. It stands alongside projects like Neom, the Line, Shidiya, and the Red Sea Development. Together, they form one of the most ambitious modernization agendas in human history. And the tower? It is the symbol, the vertical flag planted in the sky. So what does the future hold? If construction continues according to renewed plans, experts estimate the Jeddah Tower could reach completion around 2028 to 2030 and beyond. By then, it will rise above the desert like a silver blade, a technological marvel functioning as a city within a city, a place where global elites live, work, and look down on clouds drifting below their windows. With smart building systems, advanced cooling technologies, and AI-driven sustainability management, the tower aims to be more than tall. It aims to be future-proof, it could host elite corporate suites, high luxury residences, vertical gardens, and observation decks that turn tourism into pure spectacle. Yet the future remains a paradox. The tower stands as both a promise and a question mark. It is a model for the next frontier of megacities or a warning about the limits of ambition in a changing world. But one thing is certain. If the Jeddah Tower reaches the sky, it will not be remembered as just a building. It will be remembered as the moment humanity refused to stop climbing because the future does not belong to those who wait. It belongs to those who build. Conclusion and outro. The Jeddah Tower is more than concrete, steel, and glass. It is a statement, a declaration that humanity is not done dreaming. In a world where buildings once climbed only a few floors, we reached 100, then 828 meters. And now, standing above the desert, a new frontier calls, one kilometer into the sky. For Saudi Arabia, this tower is a promise that its future will not be defined by oil alone, but by innovation, engineering, and bold imagination. For architects and engineers, it represents a challenge big enough to inspire an entire generation. And for the world, it is a reminder. The race toward tomorrow never ends. Yet ambition is never guaranteed victory. The Jeddah Tower is both hope and caution, proof that greatness demands time, sacrifice, and perseverance. A monument paused, tested, revived, and still climbing. So here's the question we leave with. When future civilizations study the skyline of our era, will the Jeddah Tower stand among humanity's greatest achievements or remain a monument to the dreams we almost touched? Only time will tell, and you will want to be here when it does. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world's boldest mega projects, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notification. Because next week, we explore another futuristic structure reshaping our planet. The story of human ambition doesn't end here. It rises with every new foundation we pour and every horizon we dare to reach.